Hey Nick from Nintendo Dads here doing a review on Twin Robots Ultimate Edition. Uh, Twin Robots Ultimate Edition's uh, publisher is Rattle Games and their developer is Thin Ice. Um, big thanks to Rattle for giving us a code to the game. Um, the, story be the story behind uh, Twin Robots Ultimate Edition is uh, you are playing as Volt and Watt. He plays both of them. Um, they are in a kind of gritty testing factory and uh, their job is to try to find a way out of this factory so that they can be free. So in Twin Robots Ultimate Edition, um, your robots are dropped into one of the testing facilities, just like this. The one robot's immediately locked behind a cage, um, and it has a hydraulic press coming down its head. You can see the monitor on the middle of the left screen. Um, so the other robot now has to find the big red button to stop the hydraulic press and unlock the cage, just like that. As I do that, I press the Y button, and now I can flip to the robot that was caged and have control over him. You can do this at any time in the game where you can flip between both robots using the Y button and control them separately. Um, when I press the big red button, it gets dark and energy tiles appear on the ground. As I pick up these energy tiles, you'll see in the top left, uh, it adds to the coinciding robot's uh, energy uh, bar. Energy is everything in Twin Robots. Um, you use energy when you run, jump, if you get hit, and you can collect energy by these energy tiles and then also by uh, batteries, which you'll see me collect here in a second. There's at least one battery in every level and sometimes even two. The cool thing is in Twin Robots, you can actually share the energy between the two robots by pressing the X button. And uh, so if one, one robot's low, if you run out of energy, you remember you die. See there, I flipped using the Y button to the other robot so I can get them both to the door. Now the pink robot has enough energy that it takes 100 units and it'll unlock the door and I'm free to go. Um, and then that's, that's how you get to the end um, of each of the levels. Some are, the, they get much more difficult as the game goes on. You need both robots. You need to use both robots to uh, traverse the level. Here you'll see, see how the bars move back and forth sharing the energy uh, between the two robots. It's a good strategy game and it works out um, really well when you're, when you're trying to play. So in the game mechanics of Twin Robots Ultimate Edition, um, you got the basics of a 2D platformer, you know, right, moving right and left, jumping. There also are some cooler techniques that you, you kind of see in Mario games a lot, where you're doing wall jumps to climb. Um, you can hang on, on the edge of cliffs. Um, you can uh, push and pull boxes. Um, and, and so it makes a lot of fun. It's really, the strategy is fun that they added with a, with a platformer. I think uh, that there really is a, a, good, a good combination. Um, I, I will say that sometimes there is a gotcha mechanic in this game that just kind of irritates me. Like, there's a lot of one-shot kills, so you, the hydraulic presses that you'll see me navigate throughout this game, um, the spikes which you can see kind of below me right there, all those are one-shot kills. Doesn't matter where you are in the game, doesn't matter how much energy you have, you hit one, you, you just touch one barely, and you are done. And, and so, sometimes the camera doesn't, um, doesn't pan down enough for you to know what's just like that. Um, sometimes the camera doesn't pan down enough for you to know what's down there, but but the game expects you to jump down anyways. And it's it's like the, they knew that was the case, and so they just put some spikes down there. And it's a game of okay, I hope I don't I hope I don't land on the spikes the first time because I didn't even really know where they were. And so it's you gotta you gotta learn what you're doing, and I don't know. It just that aspect of, of gaming sometimes I don't like. I don't mind dying if it's if it's skill, but if it's just kind of like a gotcha type thing, it, I, I find it slightly irritating. So so that's one of my complaints with the game. Um, uh, past that, there are I I was having a ton of fun with the game, just doing just going through the levels and all the and all this stuff. And I got to and this is actually that level. I got to level 19, and all of a sudden. It, it got kind of buggy on me. Like there just, you would you would run up against a wall and the only way to, to, like if the wall was on your right side, you would expect you could just go to the left and you'd be okay. But I couldn't because I was like stuck in the middle of the wall. And my only way to get out of that was to press the jump button. Okay, not that big of a deal, except for when there are spikes above you, which there was two or three times. So it's it just, because of that bug, you automatically die. The other thing uh, coming up here right now, um, so I'm running around and there are secret areas added in this game with the Ultimate Edition where you can play soccer and, and you get painted and you have to find them. So they really kind of promote exploring this world they've created, which is great. 
except two or three times, um, once I fell through a wall, and here, uh, you, you just find your way to the top of the world, and you're like, Am I, have I found something secret? What is this? What can I do? This is cool. Am I about to find on something I, oh, no I'm not. And you just get stuck in the no man's land. And let me tell you, for a game that has gone so far to be something really good, these moments really just, it, it like, it, your fun hits a wall, and then all of a sudden, it's just done. And it's, and it's like, oh, I gotta start over, and I was so close to being done. And then here, guys, um, I, I cut it as close as I could so I wouldn't, uh, so I wouldn't give away any secrets if, if you do want to get this game. Um, but right here at the end, the end of a game, this is level 40, last level of the game. You really work hard to get through this level. It is not easy. There's a ton of presses, spikes, everything. You're waiting, you're like really excited. Don't you like how I push my robot forward? Um, you're really excited, you're like, what am I gonna get? What's next? You know, like the thank you, the credit rolls. That's what I love about gaming. And that's what you get. And let me tell you, that is just really deflating as a gamer. So guys, my, uh, my final thoughts here on uh, Twin Robots Ultimate Edition. Um, and this is the Ultimate Edition. It's the Ultimate Edition because uh, in 2013, uh, Twin Robots, the first iteration, came out on uh, Steam, Wii U, Android, and iOS. Uh, this iteration, in the Ultimate Edition, they added 12, 12 levels. Um, the secret areas that I, uh, I kind of talked about, which are really fun, you can play soccer and uh, you can paint your robots, mine are pink and green. I think they start out black and white, I believe. Um, and so, and they kind of they kind of fix the physics a little bit from the first iteration um, to make it run a little bit smoother. Um, so my, my final thoughts on this are, it, it is really, I love the art style. I love the kind of polygonal feel of it and it's got this gritty kind of muted colors look as you can see. The music is really good. It makes you feel like you're in that factory and the, the sound effects are awesome. Um, the combo between platformer and puzzler is fun. I mean, I, I don't feel like I'm jumping too much and I don't feel like I'm only jumping. I feel like I have a mix of a, of a good bit of things to do. Um, the controls are concise, which are not always easy to find in a smaller platformer game. Um, I always feel like when I'm when when my robot's moving, I feel like it's doing what I'm asking it to do. And if I die, um, it's because of something that I did. Um, but all those things said, I really cannot recommend this game with the amount of bugs that I encountered in the last half of these levels. Um, to be stuck in walls, to be jumping through, um, behind the background, to beat the game and, and have this uh, have this kind of your, your software crash. I just can't recommend it, guys, with that. Uh, if they patch it, that would be great. Um, I, think it, I think it's 80% there, but those bugs just really kill what otherwise is a well done and very fun game. Uh, thanks for listening to my review, guys. I really appreciate it. This is Nick uh, from Nintendo Dads, and have a good day. As, as promised, I wanted to give you um, a review of the multiplayer as well. Uh, I had a chance to have a couple friends over, and we tried it out. Um, I first wanted to give you a reminder of the uh, energy storing um, mechanic in this game. Um, it's key to the top probably 20 levels. Without it, you really can't. Uh, beat those levels. You need to share energy between the robots. You'll see how when I share with one robot the bars up in the corners move um, So that uh, I can take energy from one robot and give it to another um, You need that because your your robot in the beginning the one that's caged starts with very depleted energy um, And it, it's up to the other robot to farm so you'll see here I'm moving to two-player now. You can choose any controller you want, any controller scheme, which is nice. And so I'm going to go back in and show you, unfortunately, why multiplayer is uh, completely worthless in this mode, unfortunately. Here you go. You're going to see me try to share energy with the pink robot. The yellow's full. See how the yellow starts to go down? The pink doesn't go up. You can't share energy in multiplayer. It's a bug that has uh, broken multiplayer. Without being able to do that, none of the top levels are beatable, unfortunately.